accusation. I'm Mr. Atheist. Funny thing is, by saying that phrase, I might have doomed this video. Let's do this. Let's have a look at the claims of Mr. Atheist, who also owns the channel Jimmy Snow What You Know, regarding alleged algorithmic unfairness towards atheists by the YouTube algorithm. At the point of recording this video, to the best of our knowledge, we do not have any current or prior affiliation with any of the third parties mentioned in this video. But to figure out whether or not this is just me universally, if this is my problem or something else, I decided to make a video I knew couldn't get demonetized. And I knew that diet topics are somewhat popular on YouTube. I uploaded this video and I gave it the title, I am on a diet. I gave it the description, I am on a diet. I gave it the tags, I am on a diet. And it maintained monetization. And I was a bit relieved. I have now confirmed that it's not just my channel. Everything, oh, I did the control again. I am on a diet, I'm on a diet, I'm on a diet worked fine. Next, I, next, I did title, I am on a diet, description, I am on a diet, and I just added the single word atheist into the tags, and it was demonetized almost instantly. The only difference was the word atheist. Now, this is already hard proof that the word atheist, despite YouTube telling me earlier this month that it was not added to the list of, of concerning words or high-risk words, this is confirmation that the word atheist will get you demonetized. But Creating a video about your diet with I am on a diet as the title, description and tags can only be used to test whether your entire channel has been placed in a state of demonetization or in your case, a limited ad state, which we won't be discussing in further detail in this video, but which is an important distinction which ought to be noted. It cannot be used as a control in an atheist specific experiment. Doing so specifically fails to consider alternate competing hypotheses. Therefore, the criteria by which to falsify the discrimination hypothesis is insufficient and invalid. Now, we do not recommend simply executing the recommended changes to the experiments in this video yourself and then posting the results on your channel. Although that would certainly be an interesting watch, it would still point to a deficient general control environment, since you are not an unbiased observer. So even if you do not actually interfere with the results of the experiment before or after taping, in a manner that cannot be observed in the recorded results, the results will still be suspect. As such, these experiments should ideally be performed or observed by an independent person. All results should be repeatable under similar conditions. In order to design an appropriate experiment, we do need to understand a bit about what discrimination means. We do not intend to address our personal opinions or emotions about discrimination in this video. We condemn all legitimate cases of unfair discrimination. We respect due process. We acknowledge the difficulty of fairly balancing legitimate conflicting interests. For our purposes, we will be making the following assumptions. We will assume that some themes and or topics are more popular than others or are more sensitive than others. We will assume that YouTube seeks to maximize watch time on their own platform. We will assume that the right of the content creator to speak does not translate into the right to be heard by the end consumer. And we will assume that the right of the content creator to speak does not translate into the right to be promoted or particularly to be promoted for free by a private entity. So, to prove that the word, word atheist is being discriminated against, you would need to prove that you are being treated differently from agnostics, Christians, Muslims, Hindus, pagans and various others, or from others who discuss similar, that is to say religious themes or topics, but without disclosing their religious affiliations or their lack thereof. Firstly, you would need to prove that it is the use of the word atheist that triggers demonetization, or in your case, limited ad states, instead of the use of any other word that is clearly unrelated to the video content itself. The control video in question is said to be a diet video of about two minutes in length. 
So you would want to test whether the words astronaut and tapestry, for example, gives the same results. These words should not be the name of other channels for reasons not discussed in this particular video. If atheist, astronaut and tapestry on a diet video are fully monetized at approximately the same rate for a representative sample, your channel alone at best would only provide anecdotal evidence, the reasonable conclusion is that the YouTube algorithm doesn't care about your religious or a religious beliefs. It simply thinks that you behave in a manner strongly indicative of a spammer for observable, objective reasons that have nothing to do with your unobservable, subjective beliefs. If atheist, astronaut, and tapestry are found to be monetized fully on a diet video at approximately the same rate for a representative sample, you would move on to the next phase and test Christian, Muslim, Hindu, and pagan. Following the principle of Keteris Partibus, that is, keeping all other things the same. If there is a statistically significant difference within that representative sample of various religious affiliations, barring other factors coming into play, which is possible but too long to discuss in this video, then you may very well have evidence supporting a hypothesis of discrimination. Then, I don't even know why I did this, but for kicks and giggles I did, I uploaded Atheist, Atheist, Atheist. Title description tags, demonetized. So In terms of using Atheist as your title, description, and tag, for one thing, Atheist is a single word that is possibly more likely to be indicative of spam than a complete sentence. Grammatical quality is not a conclusive indicator of spam, but it is one of the most reliable red flags available. This is not the only possible alternative explanation that ought to be considered either, but we won't be addressing those in this video. Oh, tested. The oddest thing, I guess, was that putting atheist in the title, just the word atheist, and then doing I am on a diet, I am on a diet, uh, uh, as the description and tags, didn't demonetize. Again, it may have once I scheduled it for public, but uh, it didn't in the actual test. As far as using atheist as your title and I am on a diet as a description and tag, not immediately triggering limited ad states goes. Well, we do have a theory about that, but the aim of this specific video is not to teach creators how to perform well in the YouTube algorithm. It is to teach people how to methodically evaluate claims by considering the evidence presented for a positive claim. The same goes for specifically why using either your default description or your default tags do not trigger limited ad states, but your default description and tags purportedly do. Maybe another day. Suffice to say, the explanation that appears most likely has nothing to do with religion you do or do not identify as.